Okay, if you ask me, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, huh? Hey folks, um, well, so, some interesting things have occurred since the last time we were together. Um, I just have found myself a brand new project. Let me show you. Uh, here's a trusty truck. Well, maybe not so trusty anymore. <laughs> when you see this, you'll see why I say that. <sighs> so, uh, here's a, a little dilemma I have. Let's uh, open up the aperture just a little bit. There you go. So what do you think? Um, here's this hose. Here's the hose clamp. And there's a big old gap right there. Let me explain to you what happened. So trusty truck right there is uh, kind of my everyday. Um, it's my grocery getter. It's my go to Home Depot, pick up parts. It's, it's all of that. And, and it's been 90% good. When I first bought it, I had some major problems. We didn't talk about it here, but um, I bought it used. The guy took decent care of it. Um, but anyway, I won't get into that old stuff unless, unless you want to know and you can ask me about it and I'll, I'll fill you in. But what happened the other day, it was roughly 10 degrees outside. I did come out, started up the motor. Everything worked fine, warmed things up, got up to temperature. I went off on an errand, stopped at an errand, uh, got out of the truck, you know, shut it off, got back in, started back up. Everything seemed fine, kind of waited a little bit. It didn't take long to do that errand, so the, the temperature was fine. And then um, I went to go get groceries. And so I head up, and there's a thing called uh, Lakeshore Avenue, Lakeshore Drive, Lake Sh Lakeshore. Everyone calls it Lakeshore out here. And it's kind of a climb uh, because it gets up on a hill and it overlooks the lake. It's really kind of nice. I wish I could show you, but I can't take the truck right now to show you. Uh, and so as I'm trudging up the hill, you know, I kind of step into it a little bit. Uh, and and uh, I could hear the turbo spool up like it always does. And I'm getting to merge into traffic and all of a sudden, boom! Oh my God! Like a backfire, but under the hood. And it was like bigger than a backfire. This was like, yeah, it shocked me. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, no power. The transmission, I was in fifth gear and I was cruising up the hill. All of a sudden it dropped down to second gear. And I'm looking at this going, what the heck just happened? It exploded. But I'm looking at the, the, uh, the tachometer and the motor's still running. Did I backfire? Was that it? But why am I in third gear, second gear? And then I realized I looked up at the turbo gauge and it was flat and I'm trying to go uphill. Yeah. So I, I blew the, uh, uh, the boot that goes from the cold side of the whole turbo assembly and goes into the throttle body. Uh, built up some pressure. It must have been because it was so cold outside and we've had you know, 105 degree, 110 degree weather this summer. And then, you know, we had seven degrees, 10 degrees this winter already. The, um, and so, you know, those kinds of extremes, plus the motor's got what, 157,000 miles on it, which is not a whole lot for this particular power stroke. It's a six, seven power stroke. People have gotten 300,000 miles on the thing. Well, that's the motor, not the plastics and the rubber. So I just have a feeling it got plastic, not so good. The little band on there, turbo pressure got up to 10 to 11, 12 pounds, which would be fairly normal to get up that hill. And uh, boom. So now I have a new project. Okay, after wrestling with it for a little bit, I, I kind of got it back on. My like, gosh, this thing is just filthy dirty in here and oily and all that junk. But I'm going to give the motor a start and see if I hear any leaks. All right, wish me luck. Uh, at, least, at least something that I can determine what the heck is going on. Got to let that little thing... Okay, it's out. There we go. Ready? Now, 
there's nothing wrong with the thing getting started. Let's see if I get any turbo boost. There's the turbo thingy right there. No, no boost. Nah, nothing. I might have something else going on. Let's go outside and take a look. I do have this other problem. Let me show you this. Now I've got this little device, and I think I've showed this to you before, uh, Blue Driver Pro Scan Tool, and it does a pretty decent job. Uh, you plug it into the what is it, the OBD port, and uh, you Bluetooth it to your phone, and it usually gives you some pretty good readings. But let me show you what's happening with this thing. You know, this is where it plugs in. You kind of do this little thing. And uh, there you go, blue light comes on, that's a good sign. But then red. And when I call up the app on the phone, Bluetooth is on and everything. It's just not connected to a vehicle. Ensure a vehicle engine is running. Well, the engine's running. And uh, it's almost as if the computer isn't operational. And, I, and I'm wondering if when it popped, it may have caused... It may have done something to mess up the computer, which would give me a much bigger problem. But when I run the onboard diagnostic, or at least sensor things that the, 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 the truck gives me, you know, I get transmission, oil, I get the temperatures, I, can, I still get, you know, all of this trip stuff. Uh, fuel economy, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> oil life, okay, you know, it's still able to monitor what mileage I have, which is 57,830.9. You see that on the gauge there. Hours on the engine, idle hours. Evidently is working, and, and that's all I got. I see something wrong here. It says the driver door is a jar. It's, it's a door, folks. Sorry, I gotta find some humor in all of this. Now when I look down inside of there, I can see all sorts of spray. So I'm pretty sure uh, that was the culprit right there. Um, although I do hear air moving around, and I'm hoping it's not this side, which this is the coming from the turbo, so that's hot air. Right? I hope it's not that busted. There's, there's no spray back in here that I can see. And uh, see, there's some spray there, let me focus that. All right, I gotta make a few phone calls. Hello? Yep, it's my worst nightmare. Look, they're all out of stock. And this one's from Moosun. You know, I may need to get down to using flex tape and a couple of zip ties uh, to secure that thing on there and give me some boost. I'm more concerned about the OBD2 port not working properly and what other damage might have gone in there. Yeah, the there's oil spatter everywhere right around where I just, you know, showed you. So I'm pretty sure that's it and I can kind of hear, you know, a little bit of air suckage. Suckage. This sucks. All right, um, I may be taking you on a little bit of a journey with me. Those are the Blackhawks flying overhead. I just noticed it says it doesn't fit. All right, let's see. It does say see similar products that fit this vehicle. We'll click on that. More vehicle information needed. Oh, oh. We need more information for your 2015 Super Duty Ver add more information to your vehicle. Well, like, what do you want to know? We're going to be working on this for a while. Well, it's good to know that it's going to be 
if I bought a Mishimoto, it's going to be $341. Ouch. Uh, if I buy something from Hu Tang Wang Wang, <laughs> it's going to cost me uh, $56. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Mitsumoto, Moshimoto, six twenty. You know, I might just call Ford and go, do you guys have a like an extended warranty for this problem or maybe a recall? Maybe I ought to check that. Join me next time, okay? Stay tuned, be subscribed. If you've got some input, uh, it's a 2015 6.7 Power Stroke 250. And, I'm, and I did talk to a couple of folks. They did say, yeah, Ford had problems with that. Yeah, no kidding, folks. It's a piece of plastic with a band of metal around it. What do you, what did you expect? You get some turbo boost and whoop, it's going to pop off. I'm just surprised it lasted as long as it did. I'll catch you next time.